What is going on in Leisure Village Camarillo as of July 1st, 2024? Stay tuned. We're going to take a look at the housing market in Leisure Village. Now, if you're not familiar with Leisure Village, it is a 55 plus community of homes and there are quite a few of them. There are approximately 2,400 homes within the Leisure Village community. Let's get started here. So again, this report is going to be as of July 1st, 2024, and we're going to look at the statistics back going back 12 months, so a full year. So within that year, um, I, want to, I want you to look at this slide here. The price has incre the price on these homes have, have increased by about 6% over the last 12 months. Now that's the median sales price. So in the last 12 months, the highest priced home that did sell was listed at $1,050,000 and that's what it actually sold that was $1,050,000. That was in February of 2024. The average sale price on these homes in Leisure Village was $633,617 and then the median sales price $615,000. That is up 6% since June of 2023. All right, so what's the difference between the average sales price and the median sales price? Real quickly, what it really means is I'm going to give you an example of 15 homes. So if we have 15 homes that are for sale, or actually I should say did sell within Leisure Village, we've got 15 homes. You take the price of each of those homes, add them all together, and then whatever that sum is, you divide it by the number of homes, in this case 15 homes, and that is considered the average sales price. So that number in this particular case is $633,617. The median sales price is similar but different at the same time. So if you take those same 15 homes, you're going to have the highest priced home and the lowest priced home. Now of those 15 homes, you're going to go directly in the middle and that is considered the median sales price. All right, let's move on here. Now the average days on the market in Leisure Village is 27 days. Now that's, that's the average for the last 12 months and then the average years in the home. People are staying approximately 15 years in their home before the home gets sold. All right, let's move on here. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I know your time is valuable, so I want to go through this, this presentation a little bit quickly. Uh, but at the same time, if you have any questions, I want you to reach out to me. I'm going to list my phone number at the end of this video. And by the way, if you want this report, I'll be more than happy to email it to you or even print it out and deliver it to you in person. All right, this particular slide here is what we've already discussed. As of July 1st, 2024, the highest, median, and lowest sale prices of the homes in Leisure Village. Okay, this these are going to be the fast facts. Now, currently, as of today, July 1st, 2024, there are a total of six homes for sale. We've got two that are brand new and four that have been sitting for longer than 30 days. So all this really means is two homes have been listed within the last 30 days. Four homes have been listed for more than 30 days for a total of six homes for sale. There are currently eight homes pending sale right now. And pending simply means that the home was listed for sale, an offer was made, and a contract was signed. So these are just waiting for escrow to be finished. And then they will at that time be placed under the sold category. And in this case, for the last 12 months, we are looking at um, 106 homes within the last 12 months that were sold. Okay, let's take a look here at some more statistics. The uh, average days on the market, we've already discussed 27 days. The average list price per square foot was $494 per square foot. That is up from last year, 474. And then the average sold price is $497 up from 467. So this really means that we've got a three dollar uh, increase on what the home was listed for versus what the home actually sold for all right let's move on here this list i'm sorry this graphic here is simply showing what uh, the boundaries are for Le leisure village and the homes that we've just discussed the new the newly listed homes for sale the active homes the pending and then the sold now we're not necessarily going to see all of those in this graphic it's much too small of a graphic uh, but we are just going to get a, a sample of where these homes are physically located as to um, you know their 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 prices and so forth all right let's move on here so these are the six active homes for sale we've already discussed we've got two that are brand new listed and four that have been sitting for more than 30 days 
So uh, I don't know if you can see it here. My picture might be in the way. I'm going to try and scroll down a little bit here. Okay. So these two blue home, two blue uh, indicators here indicate that they have been listed uh, within 30 days and days on the market, 20 days for one of them, 20 days for a secondary one. And let me move this back up here. The list price on these, they range. We've got, uh, looks like the highest priced home for the active homes for sale is $850,000. That's one that was just listed. And then the lowest price home is $450,000 thousand dollars now you're going to notice also that two of these homes are 840 square feet and they have only one bathroom now these are the condominium style homes um, so village 9 has one village 11 has one of those as well the condominium style homes are great homes the the only difference i don't want to say the only difference but one of the differences is it does not have a garage instead it has a carport all right so if you have any questions on that um, just let me know and by the way if if you're watching this video here and you decide that hey maybe you want to take a look at a home in leisure village or maybe you already live in leisure village you want to you're thinking about selling your home please reach out to me and my team we would love to help you through the buying or selling process all right let's move on here again i, I don't want to take up too much of your time but i want to give as much information as i possibly can within this uh, short video Right now, what we're looking at, looking at is the active listings. These are the six homes that we spoke about that are listed for sale. <clears throat> these first two are the ones that were just listed within the last 30 days. And then these here are the ones that still remain. Okay, if we look at this one here, the uh, one at uh, the address is at 11247 Village 11. That is the one that has been sitting on the market for quite a while. Let's go back up here. 137 days so that home has been sitting for 137 days it is one of the condominium style homes uh, i actually did walk into that uh, about two weeks ago i thought it was pretty nice actually uh, but again one of the one of the downsides is it does not have its own dedicated garage it is a carport but it's a great home moving on we've got the pending homes uh, the pending uh, listings i should say so these again pending simply means that the home was listed for sale um, an offer was made and accepted on it and now the home is under contract just waiting for escrow to close so these are those homes we have eight of those listed in this particular graphic here in fact as we go through this report we're going to see these graphics here um, they only list eight or the the most recent eight that were either sold or pending or even in in um some of the previous videos or even going forward in the next videos if we have more than eight homes we're only going to see the last eight okay in this case it just pretty much shows some of the statistics here uh, we've got of these eight homes it shows how many bedrooms these homes have how many bathrooms the square footage on these homes so it goes from looks like the biggest one is 1829 square feet and the smallest one is 840 square feet okay it shows the price per square foot days on the market and it also shows the list price let's move on here this view here is the the same eight homes that we just spoke about it just shows the front of the home and uh, by the way if you wanted to see the inside of these homes if you want to see the pictures of the inside of these homes just let me know i'll be more than happy to show you the listing on this and it'll show you uh the pictures that are that are associated with this home or these homes right here we've got the last um, home I'm sorry the homes that were sold these are the last eight again there were a total of 106 from July of last year uh, I should say from June 30th 30th of last year going to July uh, 1st today uh, 2024 so these are the most recent eight majority of these are two bedroom homes these two down here are actually four bedroom homes and you're going to see the rest of these statistics the square footage on these you know we've got 1100 square feet um, 951 square feet 1574 square feet 1260 so these homes kind of range um, depending on the model of the home itself the sold price is right here the sold date and then the days on the market and i know my picture is probably blocking some of that so i'm gonna try and scroll so you can see a little bit all right, let's move on here. These are the same homes. This is just the picture of those homes. All right. 
take a look at those again if you want to see what those uh, some more pictures on these just let me know I'll be more than happy to get those to you all right this graphic is simply showing that homes that were sold for five hundred forty seven thousand dollars or less in the last 12 months there's 27 of those uh, homes that sold for seven hundred twenty thousand dollars or more there was 27 of those that sold in the in this last year and then everything in between was 53 that was half of those was in between and then 25 percent or less 25 percent were more again over here we have the average days on the market is 27 and let's continue on this is a similar graphic but only this shows um, two bedrooms three bedrooms four bedrooms plus okay so um, the one that sold for one million fifty thousand dollars that one was pretty extreme we don't really see a lot of homes selling for a million plus dollars but this one had five bedrooms so that may have been the reason why it had a lot more space in it and then we've got uh, four bedroom homes there was two of those sold and then of the three bedroom homes there were 14 of those sold in the last year and then the two bedroom homes let me move this down a little bit two bedrooms homes that is actually the norm for leisure village the majority of homes in leisure village are two bedroom and two bathroom homes 89 of those were sold and the average price on those was six hundred six thousand seven hundred six hundred six thousand seven hundred forty four dollars all right here we are here here's some more st statistics pretty much showing the average list price versus the actual um the average sales price and in this case it was almost like for like the, it did go up a little bit as far as um the list price versus the sales price so you'll see average 629,000 and they actually got 633,000 dollars so it is just over 100 percent uh of what the asking price was uh, and then right here we see the same thing but as of 2023 so the the year 2023 that was a little bit different they asked a certain price but they got a little bit less so this year's looking a little bit better and i have a feeling going forward it's going to look a bit a little bit better as well for for sellers okay we talked about how many how many homes were sold in the last 12 months and here is the average uh, sales price 633 we spoke about that we spoke about the average days on the market as well so what does this mean for you it means that your home value may be much higher than you actually thought so if you are someone that lives in leisure village and you are thinking about selling your home please reach out to me and my team we are going to work with you we're going to hold your hand through the whole process and we're also going to put the most money back in your pocket and we're going to sell your home quickly all right and by the way if you are looking to move into leisure village please reach out to me as well i do have a team of agents that would love to meet you in leisure village and show you around the village show you different homes in leisure village and you can make a decision as to what you want to do um, let's move on here so if you have any questions again reach out to us my phone number my direct cell phone number is 805-433-4983 if you'd like to call the business line that's perfectly fine too 805-424-6226 we are looking forward to working with you